And we back. We're here with another film session today. I want to break down the defense for you. Uh, not really the whole defense. That'll be safe for my Patreon. Today we're going to look at Jonathan Hankins and Damone Clark. But if you do want to see my film session on the entire defense for the entire game, y'all go to my Patreon. Patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. You can also see the offensive film up there. Just last week, we saw a college film on Damone Clark. I just wanted to get a little refresher on that. And that was a surprise film session. So you never know what you're going to get over there. All right. Patreon.com. Let's get into the film for today. So today we're looking at Jonathan Hankins and Damone Clark. I think Damone Clark was cool. I didn't even know that um, Anthony Barr came out of the game, but Damone Clark absolutely stepped in and, you know, he uh, did his thing and, you know, he was cool. You know, he kind of made some plays here or there. That's just more so to catch y'all up on what he did when he got out there. But let me tell you who went crazy. Let me tell you who got busy. Jonathan Hankins in the limited snaps that he had to play, he he, he flashed a little bit better than anybody, man. John, Jonathan Hankins came out here. Let's just run this play dog Jonathan Hankins has definitely upgraded our interior run defense man and there's two things that's gonna happen with Jonathan Hankins you either got to keep the double team or you have got uh to to risk him being one-on-one -on -one with one of your defenders now if you're gonna double team him then fine one of your linebackers get to run free that's what he's here for but if you try to get cute like what happens right here right and that's not really them getting cute this is me talking crazy to the Bears if you try to get cute and do your little combo and somebody comes off of uh, of, of Jonathan Hankins, then you got Jonathan Hankins lined up one-on-one -on -one with any of these individuals, whether it be a guard or whether it be a center. And nine times out of 10, you get a dude like this that's one-on-one -on -one with a guard or a center, it's gonna be bad business for him. Jonathan Hankins is still, he's not the super elite guy that he once was, right? But he is still big as hell, strong as hell, and hard to move. Stop leaving people one-on-one -on -one with Jonathan Hankins, he'll eat your lunch. I think Damone Clark has a little bit of figuring out to do, like in terms of, you know, dealing with blocks and reading stuff and, you know, mental processing things, right? But if he's anything, he's an athlete. He can get from somewhere from point A to point B pretty fast. And uh, once he sees it, he closes in on it pretty well, right? But he just got to get used to seeing it. And of course, he didn't have a preseason. This is his his debut game. So, of course, he has to figure these things out on the go. Uh, Anthony Barr has a little hamstring injury. This will give, uh, this will give Clark a couple games to figure it out but hey look Clark on this play he sees the outside zone he gets there and he angles to beat the blocker right here right like if if 79 would have gotten hands on him this would have been curtains for Clark right but being able to see it get there and angle himself over top of the blocker then being able to get to the run carry a good play by him Let's get back to that Jonathan Hankins goodness. They got him lined up at a true nose. And I think this is important, right? We didn't see a whole bunch of these looks um, earlier in the season, probably because we just didn't have the personnel to do so. We, you know, we will see a lot of one tech stuff, right? Well, here and there line somebody up at the zero. That'll mostly be Bohanna. Uh, but, but boy, oh boy, we have Jonathan Hankins in his natural habitat head up over the center. Now, now it, like I said, man, if you don't double team him, sir, sir, sir my good friend if you don't double 95 you're going for a ride it's just easy peasy right and and ultimately this is good film this is good film for us right so as jonathan hankins comes off the line of scrimmage punch the center straight in the chest extends and get him off of him he is a fantastic two gap guy that's what he's doing he's playing both eight gaps right now right what this is going to do on the film is the next couple of teams that that play against us they're gonna go hey man we can't be bullshit with 95. hey we can't play around with 95. we can't be foo fooing with 95. and what's going to end up happening is one of these guards whether it be 79 or 76 are going to have to hang around on Hank is just an extra second. That's going to be good for our linebackers. It's not going to happen this week, but it's definitely going to pay off in the future. How about this? We're going to let the play roll. We'll come back and talk about it. Got a little bit of a zone run to the right. Damone Clark at the linebacker position. What I really like about this play is uh, first he had to navigate a little bit of traffic, right? But he uh, filled his gap on the way to the football. You know, which I'm fine with that, right? He is going to fill this A gap. How do I know it's his job to fill this A gap? Well, Osa OD Zua uh, filled uh, this backside B gap. So I know somebody got to be an A gap. Can you imagine if Damone Clark did not come up and fill A gap? Just all the all the all the bad energy would <laughs> that we would have gotten from David Montgomery running straight up A gap right there. But uh, Damone Clark is going to come down and fill A gap. And while David Montgomery is going to bounce this to the right a little bit, then at this point Damone Clark disengages and goes to make a tackle. Uh, a little bit past the line of scrimmage, man, but you know, like I said, this wasn't DeMond Clark's responsibility. This was more so of a, of a Van Der Esch, who is this, uh, Chauncey Ghost, and this was more, uh, this was this was more of a Van Der Esch, Chauncey Ghost responsibility. They're the ones that got turned. Um, but even though this wasn't directly DeMond Clark's job, I'm glad that he did come up and make the play. 
Man, Jonathan Hankins just ate up everything on the inside, man. Move this camera so we can see Jonathan Hankins eat, bro. They ended up one-on-one -on -one blocking him. Again, that ain't smart for nobody. That is not good for your health, bro. I hope teams in the future see this film, man, because I want to get Jonathan Hankins back to being double team, right? I don't want to live in this world where people just one-on-one -on -one block Jonathan Hankins. I mean, if that was the case, Jonathan Hankins would just rack up a bunch of tackles, but I want our linebackers to run free. Um, one, because I know Jonathan Hank is just like he's whooping one-on-one -on -one blocks. He can whoop double-team blocks also. Um, but, hey, man, if you're going to be running anywhere near A-gap and you just got one dude on 95... And we got one more play here from Damone Clark. Uh, we're at the goal line here. We're going to see him come off the line of scrimmage here, and he's going to drop back. Watch out, God damn. All right, y'all, my bad. So this is the real play I wanted to show y'all from Damone Clark. And this is not a positive play from a defensive standpoint, but I just want y'all to see the athleticism. This just kind of shows on film right here. Watch him get there. Watch him get there. Watch him get there. Man, man, man. That is your linebacker, ladies and gentlemen. That's your linebacker running with your DBs to go catch Justin Fields, who, 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 who can run, right? Um, I think once Damone Clark gets his feet under him, we'll show a cartel view. We ain't doing nothing else. I think once Damone Clark gets his feet under him, he'll 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 have a much better day. Not to say he had a bad day today. He just wasn't like, you know, he just didn't have a, a very noticeable day. He was just a linebacker that was just out there, you know. But one day, look at him flash on film. Just, just look at him pop into the film like that. Uh, but one day, uh, Damone Clark is going to get his feet up under him. And then, you know, we'll, we'll further make this assessment. We'll further figure out what we have in him. I know a lot of people are sick of Anthony Barr. I know a lot of people are uh, were dying to get Brillo on the field, right? Jabril Cox, if you didn't know who Brillo was. There were some people dying to get Brillo on the field. And, you know, I think there's a reason why the coaching staff didn't want to get Brillo on the field, but they got Damone Clark uh, active as soon as possible. And I didn't, think I didn't even think Clark was, you know, supposed to be a guy that was that was playing day one like this. I just think he was supposed to do some kicking game stuff. Uh, but by way of Anthony Barr's hamstring, he ended up playing a lot sooner than he did. But, hey. He's in the lineup now, and uh, I don't think Barr's going to come back for a for the next couple of weeks. So assuming that uh, assuming that Clark has a good game versus the Packers and the Vikings, this could be his spot, but we'll cross that road whenever we get there. Anthony Barr is a dude that's, that is playing uh, on a one-year contract, and he's making $38 a year, so we'll see how that goes. All right? Uh, like I said, if y'all want to see more of this film in the Patreon, it's patreon.com slash Vice Lombardi. We'll uh, get y'all in there, and you can have access to all of the extra content. A little talk about Damone Clark right there. And uh, y'all follow me on all my my social media is V-O-C-H-L-O-N-B-A-R-D-I. Y'all hold down for the Doski Wilson, Peace, Get Weeski. Love y'all to pieces, man. Salute.